Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Moltrap here, coming at you with game two of the third place match from the 2007 o Ever OSL. And random side note, I did realize that, so I mentioned before how I keep saying this, the 2007 over Ever OSL because Ever uh, sponsored the OSL a few times. And I, I knew that they had sponsored it in like 08 or 09, and I have verified it's actually 09 when they sponsored another OSL. I didn't actually realize that they actually sponsored an OSL in 2004 as well. So this is the second time that Ever has sponsored an OSL, but not the last. Uh, but in any case, we have Beastu versus Up Magic here in game number two of this third place match. Looking forward to seeing how this goes. Was not expecting Up Magic to be able to take down Beastu actually, and he just had a really clever strategy. Again, you know, just a, a little disclaimer. I, I feel bad hyping up Up Magic because, like I said, he's kind of disgraced in my mind a little bit since he turned out to be a match fixer. Um, and by the way, I don't think we know which matches were fixed. The matches that were fixed were, were probably a couple years after this um, because it came out in 09 or 010, I think. Um, when that all that came out so probably 2009 is when the matches were fixed so we don't have to worry about any of these being like thrown or anything like that especially I don't think you would throw a match in a high level of a finals regardless I, I think the matches that were fixed were more likely in the pro league or maybe earlier rounds of the star league but but it just feels like that would be really self-defeating if there's you know thousands of dollars on the line you're not going to throw the match to make a little bit of money from i don't know i guess they could it doesn't, doesn't the math doesn't work out that it was likely to happen but anyway um regardless let's get back into this match so we've got a bisu is the protoss at the top of the map up magic the terran on the left side of the map this map is uh, called Katrina, which, as I've said before, is a sort of what did that, uh, uh, sort of. Um, sorry, I got really distracted by that cheerful because I read it and then I was like, did I say what I thought it said? Anyway, um, four-player map. So we can see that Bisu is taking a long time to scout. He's actually going to scout Up Magic last, and that is. Interesting because it looks like Up Magic might even be able to get a Marine out in time in order to stop any kind of scouting going from going on whatsoever. So you can see that this map is constructed where you have a main base and then there's a really broad ramp um, next to the main base and the natural expansion is actually behind it. So you can kind of use your initial wall, your initial defenses to protect your expansion very easily, but it's all on this one long high ground. Um, so that's just something that interesting to note. It is possible to wall. You can see there's a neutral building that makes it so that you can actually wall next to your main base a little bit easier. Then wall isn't next to the ramp that way, but actually here's a zealot. So the zealot's going to be able to get a scout in because two marines can kill off a probe very quickly, but they cannot kill off a zealot very quickly. He's actually running in with SCVs, pulling SCVs to try and get... Whoa, 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 what was the... Whoa, he blocked it! What is Up Magic doing? What just happened? What am I seeing? He just blocked his own marines from moving with his SCVs and just killed two of his marines basically they were tr he was like trying to kite back his marines but at the same time he was blocking him with his own scvs I I did he just lose the game because of that because right now and he just loses another marine what is going on here it looks like he's finally going to get a surround on these uh, <laughs> zealots and actually no zealot does wriggle out so he's gonna have to continue a micering that marine and he does manage to kill off one of the zealots and the marine goes down what are we watching here this is, uh, and he didn't even build his barracks next to his buildings in a way that he could use it as like a fake, uh, a fake bunker where, you know, you can, you can have a spot where the Marines can go between buildings, but the Zealots can't. And now he's got a Vulture out, so he's going to be able to micro against these Zealots, but, but there's probably a Dragoon on the way right now. So like, this is looking really bad for, um, for up magic. Okay. A, what? A forge and a cannon instead of dragoons. Um, maybe he was fearing a proxy, a proxy starport or something like that. Since there was, I don't know what's going on here, man. This is crazy. Um, and what the, what the, ladies and gentlemen, we just witnessed the first time in the history of pro gaming that a zealot versus a vulture and the zealot has won because the, the vulture just ran up and let the zealot kill it without micring. I mean, this is insanity. I mean, like, when it's just a 1v1 with nothing else to micro, that shouldn't happen. 
Up Magic is falling apart in this game. I don't understand what's going on. Um, he played just immaculately well in game number one, and here in game number two, he's just screwing up a lot of stuff. Um, and, you know, with the caveat that I I would have lost the game by now if I was Up Magic, um, or Bizu for that matter. But still, like it's just for a pro gamer level play, this is this is really uh, lacking. So anyway, SCV is in the main base still running around because the Dragoons haven't come out until just now. The Cybernetics core was late in order to get a cannon out there. Um, I, I'm not again. I'm not exactly sure what what was going on with that cannon. Um, he might have been suspecting a proxy, is what I'm thinking, and that's why he built uh, defensive buildings instead of going for Dragoons. And it's lucky for up Magic because, like I said, if if um, Okay, let's just lay down a mine within vision range of the cannon. Actually, he may have planted that mine. He may have initiated the com command to plant that mine before he knew the cannon was there. I'm not sure if the SCV scouted it earlier or not. Um, in any case, so Up Magic has pushed out with a little bit of a force. He's seen that cannon. And he's like, okay, never mind. Not nothing to do here. Let's just go home and defend. Templar Archives is out now. Dropship. Up Magic loves his dropship play, and the cannon is not going to be able to stop anything from happening in the back of his base. And it, I, I think, crucially, this drop is also going to be able to get a scout on this Templar Archives, which is really crucial. He's going to see it. Tank is dropped out. Vultures as well. He's planting mines as a defensive uh, barrier against the um, Dragoons that are going to come and try and help out. And he actually surrounds the... the that's kind of cool. He surrounds the tank with the probes, but he uses the dropship to pick up the tank out of danger and continue attacking the probes with his vultures. Is he going to pull this off? Oh no, the mine! No! Okay, I thought he was going to walk the mine into his probes again, which would have been devastating for B. So he's building a cannon here in the back, and he's going to try and use micro with the dropship. Actually fails the micro. He picked up the tank in the dropship, but then dropped it back out again immediately, so the Dragoon uh, Disruptor Charge actually landed. Um, on him, so he could have done a little bit more damage with that tank, could have kept it alive longer, but instead he loses it. But these vultures are doing significant damage. What is Up Magic's uh, response going to be to this Templar Archives is the question, because we know there's going to be a DT popping out of those gateways very, very soon. It's going to be waltzing across the map. Actually, no, it's going to be waltzing back into his base to try and kill off these vultures. And mines are usually good against Dark Templar. Somehow the DT surviving a couple mines there. And uh, doing damage to the vultures as well. So I guess his only... <laughs> <He's> <laughs> That's interesting. So it looks like somehow Bisu put a pylon down? I, I'm actually... I th was that Up Magic's natural expansion there? I'm not sure. Anyway, more vultures being dropped out here. He's going to plant down another round of mines and try and do some damage. And oh no. Oh no, mines are dropping down there. He knows the mines are there. Is he going to drag the mines in with his DTs? He can drop the DT behind the mines and just actually attack the SCVs without the mines having to be a problem at all. And uh, what is Up Magic's response? Okay, he's got an engineering bay. I would have almost expected him, I guess it would have been a really significant investment of gas to try and build a science vessel, but I would have almost expected him to do that or try and get a scanner or something like that. But he's just desperately trying to build turrets. Okay, this is really interesting because now we have one DT going to work in Up Magic's main, but the vultures are actually killing off the Templar archives in Bisu's natural expansion. That DT is going to shut it down though. There weren't enough mines well placed enough to deal with that. Okay, he's dropping out a tank now to deal with the to finish it off, finishes off the DT with that uh, mine as well, and it looks like that Templar Archives is going to go down, but not before DT has made, I'm sorry, DT, Bisu has made several DTs, but if he kills off the Templar Archives and the DTs are already gone, then what good does it do? And again with the Wraith coming out here to kill off the shuttle, very nicely done. He's doing combat on the ground and in the air at the same time. The shuttle goes down, now he's dropship microing, dodges so many shots! Dodges four shots in a row with the Dragoon, with the tank, by pulling it up into the dropship. And now he can siege up, actually, and start going to work at the buildings. That tank will not be able to reach, I'm sorry, the cannon will not be able to reach the tank, obviously, when it's in siege mode. And what is he doing here? He's just going to donate those SCVs to the Dark Templar. More Dark Templar in his natural as well. Wait, Up Magic is not mining right now. Up Magic is not mining at all. There's one last Dark Templar. Is he gonna? Okay, he does actually kill. <laughs> he just mass attacks the Dark Templar, which was low on health, with his SCVs, kills it off. Now there are Marines there as well to make sure that more Dark Templar attacks cannot happen. Looks like the Wraith is. No, the Wraith doesn't go down! The mines land perfectly and kill off the Dragoon, 
He is going to go ahead and donate that Wraith to the other Dragoon, but Observer Rouse are out now, so so that's going to be the end of this attack. He's probably going to have to pull up that tank and uh, retreat altogether, as a matter of fact, because with DTs and Dragoons... Okay, <laughs> the DTs are now attacking the natural expansion um, of Up Magic, so he's going to lose that if he doesn't lift it off pretty soon. Okay, there's the lift off finally. So, again, I think we're going to basically kind of even out. Somehow, amazingly, I think things are going to even out because Bisu has lost. Well, no, I think Bisu has an advantage here, actually, because he didn't lose, actually, a lot of probes. He's got two Nexuses he can continue to make um, probes to replace with. It looks like, yeah, Bisu's at full saturation in his main. Decent saturation in his natural. Up Magic has had to lift his main, though. I'm sorry, his natural expansion, though. And he's just trying to fight with, with mines here. And it's not really the most effective thing, especially because he's going to keep losing his uh, vultures to the mines if he's not careful. There's another mine. Okay, so he thinks that's the last DT. He's going to land his <laughs> he's going to land his commands there, and there's still another DT on hold position there. And he's going to go over and kill off some more vultures. Oh, one, two. Oh goodness. Okay, he's going to try and bait that DT into the mines again. DT's probably gonna go down. No, he doesn't. How is how are these DTs surviving multiple mine hits? Did he actually? I, I mean, sometimes DTs can can get a timing right where they can actually attack the mine and kill off the mine quick enough. Um, but I think he's also just getting a little bit lucky here. Okay, Bisu is now pushing in here to the main base, up the ramp of Up Magic, and this is not looking good because Up Magic is he's not mining a ton he's only mining his main that one dt has completely stopped mining still at his natural expansion um but he has tanks and he's got a wall so i don't think bisu can quite finish him off right now if he had that shuttle still he could drop zealots on top of those tanks and and kill off uh the tanks and then break the wall very easily but two tanks with that much of a wall and some mines is going to be enough to hold off a handful of dragoons bisu crucially though has made a third base already so i feel like bisu is in uh, really good shape right now. I think he's probably going to be able to um, <clears throat> Excuse me. I think he's probably gonna be able to out macro up magic at this point. I think uh, again a really clever play here by up magic, but uh, Just losing so much early on. I mean, let's just, just go back and remember how badly up magic messed up those initial uh, micro battles where he was just stopping his own marines and lost so much tempo by by losing uh, marines and vultures to those early zealots and letting Bisu kind of get a, get ahead in, in economy and wasn't really I mean up magic really was very successful as far as his drops went um, with the vultures and the tanks and really microed well on that on that part and was able to do significant damage but oh He's going to siege up on the low ground here, immediately unseizing, actually expecting, well actually no, I thought he was expecting to be attacked, but it's the counterattack that he's worried about. He needs to get his tanks back to the main base here, and all he has is tanks, there's no vultures to follow up with, so his tanks are just going to get obliterated. Oh my gosh, okay, there's the GG from Up Magic. Just lost too much early, kind of controlled that s late early game or early mid game I guess. Um, with those drops, but the DTs um, were just too much. They, the DTs just did too much damage. I mean, he kept him from mining his main for for minutes. Um, he kept his, him from mining his natural expansion for almost the entire life of that natural expansion with the DTs. And Bisu was able to, you know, he took some damage. He took some economic damage um, and lost a lot of expensive Dark Templar both in his own base and in Up Magic space, but just was able to get too much of a tempo advantage. And with three bases surviving to um, uh, the one basically mining base of Up Magic, Bisu is able to take game number two. So we're going to go to game number three of Bisu versus Up Magic.